Hey, what's going on, guys? Alright, so I um, haven't posted a video on this channel, mainly because uh, I've been really preoccupied with uh, a lot of other shit, really. So, yeah, even though um, I'm on, you know, uh, Christmas vacation right now, still been kind of busy. Even though I really should not be doing that much, I still am kind of fucking busy. Um, this is the last video that I am doing uh, commentary over, and then all the other Left 4 Dead 2 videos I have um, are fucking live commentary. But like I said, just been kind of busy. I know that I said I wouldn't put any RuneScape content on this video, or rather, uh, channel, channel, RuneScape videos on this uh, channel. Reason being I did that is because, well, um, kind of had, it was an interactive game, and I didn't really feel like putting five videos on one channel, so I kind of split it up. And then I put two cha two videos on two friends' uh, channel. So that was the only reason why. But as you see here, there's Left 4 Dead 2, and um, uh, it's somewhat of a bitch, mainly because I understand why you need four players to play this game. As you see, I got raped by a fucking jockey, or was getting raped by a jockey. So therefore, that's why you always need four players. Because I saw that one of you guys commented, basically saying, "Oh, why do you have? Why do you need four players?" It's because if you don't have four players to play this game, you will get raped, and you cannot solo this game. It's the one game that you probably can never solo. Uh, if you don't have four friends playing with, or three friends playing with you, then you will fucking have three computers. So that's pretty much about it. Um, otherwise, the later Left 4 Dead 2 videos are with my friend uh, Big. Uh, uh, Mike, even though his name is Big Star Two Four Five, um, and my friend Justin, who I did uh, co-op with Dead Rising Two with, uh, I made him go and uh, sell some stuff. Well, actually, I didn't make him sell some stuff, but it just he bought De uh, Left 4 Dead Two. So yeah, he got rid of a lot of uh, his Xbox games and shit, but I convinced him to keep it because I need people to play Left 4 Dead Two with. So yeah, but um. So we're basically doing a trio commentary, and it's all live commentary, and that's going to be, l like, later on and stuff, because, well, right, you know, after this video. We got probably about three quarters of the way through the game, and we probably got, I don't know, maybe about a couple days worth of uh, videos I'll be uploading. So, yeah. I always get hit by these damn things, but it's just because, you know, I'm playing with two computers. And even though if you have two computers... Computers kill a lot of zombies, but they can't think like a normal player does. Like a normal player, well, me, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I just like charging in, and then I kind of really get fucked up, which is not always the best thing. Because in this game, it's not like Dead Rising 2. You can't really go charging in and shit. If you go charging in in this game, you will die, and you will look like a dumbass. And then that's pretty much about it. Um... But yeah, as for Left 4, 2 De uh, Left 4 Dead 2 goes, it's really a good game. I really am enjoying it. Although, the only thing bad about it is that the campaign is not the best campaign. The reason, when I say, when I, the reason why I say that is because for each little, like, uh, submission, or rather, yeah, submission, in each, like, uh, chapter, like, we're in the first chapter right now. The first chapter really only has about, like, I think, like, four missions. And then it moves on to the next chapter. And so the whole game really only takes about maybe two to three hours to actually beat. But there's so much other shit you can do because you can do survival, you can do a lot of other shit. And this jockey is raping my friend, which is kind of fucking funny. <laughs> he gets all the way up the fucking stairs. Ah, uh, whoa, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And then the computer steals shit, which that was clearly my kill. But for whatever re oh yeah, and he's getting raped by the hunter. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but otherwise, as this game goes, like I said, it's pretty fun. Um, the only thing that I really wish is that it was a lot, like you know, longer and shit. But it really doesn't matter so much. Reason being is because Dead Rising 2, that game is really, really long and really, really hard. <laughs> really, really depends if it's hard or not. Once you get to level 50, it becomes really easy. On normal, you guys will see that we all get fucked in the later levels. Um, just because in this game, you can die pretty easily on normal. 
Like if a jockey jumps on top of you, if a hunter jumps on top of you, if a tank can one hit you, like a tank just one hit me, as you see that. Um, the thing that I dislike about this game though, is that I don't like the fucking names to these monsters. Um, just having a tank sounds retarded. I, like the first time I played this game, a friend of mine was like, oh, she watch out for the tank. I'm like, what? 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 Then I turn around and I get fucking thrown across the map and I, I'm dead. So, yeah. Um, as for the hunter, I don't really understand. A uh, hunter name, that actually sounds pretty cool, because it kind of reminds me of a Resident Evil character's name, a hunter beta. Um, then a boomer vial, because it shoots shit on you. A spitter makes sense, because it spits acid on you, so that's probably one of the, that's the only, like, little sub-boss, or rather, you know, whatever you want to call it, a special, uh, zombie or character in this game that makes sense. Otherwise, the witch makes no fucking sense to call it a witch. Um, it should just be called a doucher. That's probably the best name. Um, but yeah, and then as for a jockey, I, you know, when I heard, when I heard jockey, I think of somebody like in high school and shit. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. But as for this game, probably just going to be another week or so, and then we'll move on to the next game. Which, uh, kind of really want to start uploading some Black Ops shit. Um, but then, I kind of really don't. Uh, just, you know, not yet. Because I do want to do, still want to do some, uh, Super Mario shit. There, that, uh, is on, like, um, fucking, uh, like, old systems and stuff. Oh, yes, and by the way, you guys are seeing this one person, um, Re uh, Revenant, uh, Reaper. Uh, or, well, you know, it has a whole bunch of threes and fours and shit. Um, this person just randomly joined the game, and me and Mike were like, what the fuck? How did you get, how did you get in the game? He, I don't know, this person just randomly, like, you know, joined the game and stuff, but, oh well. Um, I had it set to, uh, like, anyone can join, so he popped in, and we're like, oh, shit, we're playing with someone, and yeah, and, oh, oh, yeah, there's a charger. The charger also makes sense, um, because he charges at you. And you guys will see in the later in the later videos that um uh, we were on top of this rooftop and my friend Mike just get boop he gets knocked the fuck off the roof by the charger. Uh, it's it's pretty I'd say probably maybe ten or eleven videos later on, but um it's pretty much about it. Uh, but charger it makes sense to call a charger that. And there is a witch coming up. Uh, and if you guys don't know the witch is. Um, the first time I heard of the witch, I thought you were supposed to kill it, but supposedly you do not kill the witch. Like, the witch is this really, um, souped up, like, fucking character and stuff, and all it really does is it comes running at you with these big, gigantic claws that just, like, rapes you. Kind of, It kind of looks like a dirty prostitute. I mean, that's really what it looks like, a dirty whore. Uh, if any of you guys are whores, well, then you should clean yourself. But that's basically what the thing looks like. And then, uh, so this thing comes running at you, and then when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, shit, you're supposed to kill these. And my friend, uh, Mike, he's like, no, you're not supposed to kill them. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah, but you're supposedly, they're really hard to kill. Easiest way to kill them is with a chainsaw or any melee weapon just slaughters them. An axe, a fucking chainsaw. Um, but then again, if you have the axe, you're going to get knocked down and butt raped. So it does you it does you no good to actually have a melee weapon to go and attack the witch. But um it's coming up here, and then back here what we had to do was get like soda for this like douchebag in the locker room. This kind of reminds me of um the movie Dawn of the Dead, the remake, when the guy was in the gun shop. Even though that movie really pissed me off, reason being is because the guy's in a fucking gun shop and he has a ton of ammunition. Because any gun shop that I've ever been into, they have a fucking armory of ammunition. So the guy is sitting on his rooftop just doing absolutely nothing and waiting to die of starvation. Me, personally, I would start fucking shooting zombies nonstop. And then when all the zombies were dead, I would walk over to the mall and get some food. And then I would walk back to my uh, little, you know, palace of uh, shit. So yeah, that's the only thing that I really dislike about, oh yeah, and then a jockey jumps on top of me again. This is why it is impossible to play this game as a solo, is because you cannot fucking escape shit being raped from you. Even on easy, 
you will still get pinned down. And we're playing on fucking normal. Um, if we were playing on expert and then advanced, no, no, it was advanced and then expert, uh, we would be fucking dead. Alright, I mean, you can be really, really good at this game. Oh, yeah, and this chick wants to, like, suck my balls. Um, or rather, uh, Revenant Reaper. <laughs> Here comes a witch. Okay. Hey, alright, now, it's one I accidentally fucking hit her. And I didn't know that I fucking hit her. Where the fuck is she? Ah, there it is. No, 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 where is it? There it is, there it is, there it is. Yeah, I'm like, right now, I'm like, what the fuck? Oh my god, oh my god, yeah, there, there it comes after you. You see this fucking thing? It charges after you, and all it does is fucking, if it gets on top of you, it fucking rapes you. And the only reason why I we killed it was because there was all rubble and debris on the ground. If there wasn't shit on the ground, I'd most likely be fucking dead. Or rather, not to the ground, not dead, but still. The thing rapes you. But, um, yeah. Like I said before, this game really does remind me of Dawn of the Dead, and that's probably the reason why I got it. I, I mean, I love zombie movies, love zombie games. Although, like I said, Dawn of the Dead, the remake, kind of pissed me off, because I love the original, like, a lot more. But just because probably in the original, there is a gun store in the mall, and they do the logical thing, which is they kill all the fucking zombies in the mall and take control of the mall. It makes sense. You have a gun shop in the mall with thousands of rounds of ammunition. You might as well kill all the fucking zombies in the mall because they, like, walk slow as fuck. And then you just, you know, take control of the mall. And, um, this is basically the end of this video right here. That's the safe house over there. Uh, my friend Mike is, like, limping. I'm not really sure why. But, yeah, leave some comments, guys, if, um... You are liking these Left 4 Dead 2 videos. And the next videos will be all live commentary. So, yeah. And I got number one for most kills. See you guys later. Bye.